Hello, and welcome to the Folklore and Fiction Podcast. My name is Kelly McCath Morin. I'm a PhD candidate in the Folklore Department at Memorial University of Newfoundland, and I'm also a speculative fiction writer under the pseudonym C.S. McCath. The Folklore and Fiction Podcast and Dispatch synthesize these passions with a focus on folklore scholarship aimed at storytellers. You'll find the Folklore and Fiction archive along with the rest of my work online at folkloreandfiction.com. Interested listeners will find a link to the current dispatch in the show notes, where a more comprehensive record of this episode can be found, including a bibliography and other references. This episode of the Folklore and Fiction podcast was first published as a newsletter in December 2019. I'm recording it as a supplemental podcast now so that new listeners and subscribers have an opportunity to engage with the material. In it, I'm bringing sea monsters to your holiday season with a discussion of folkloric elements in a poem titled Leviathans, published nearly a decade ago in Strange Horizons. Leviathans It was not enough, the half guffa, whale-eater, ship-swallower, rock-toothed maw of the deep, insouciant crusher of vikings into bone splinter and driftwood. It was not enough, the ling-backer, heather-backed false island splitting fathoms to air its blossoms and diving again, like any heedless behemoth, with Urvar's luckless men on its shoulders. Those krakens of saga, primeval beasts, implacable as deep-water currents, birthed from the world's abyssal womb to chasten sailors who fouled her blood. They were, in the long telling, not enough. As far as scientists can tell, the undersea oil is actually a witch's brew of crude mixed with dissolved methane, stretching 15 miles long, 5 miles wide, and 300 feet thick in the case of one plume detected by the pelican, and 22 miles long, 6 miles wide, and 3,000 feet thick in the case of a plume found by University of South Florida researchers aboard the Weatherbird 2 last week. The latter plume reaches all the way to the surface. Now slick leviathans spew from the sediment. Mephitic fiends, nameless, insensate, pitchy tentacles undulating inland, dragging the seabed, a quiver with methane, shaming the world with her own shit. While brown pelicans blacken, feathers clotted, bills dripping crude into hungry, hatchling mouths, and bottlenose dolphins slip to the shoreline, toothy grins fixed in a death rectus. Far below, the slumbering krakens never waken. Half guffa gapes, cavernous gullet choked with tar balls. Lingbacker bursts, carapace crushed under too many carcasses. Inadequate monsters, undone by their betters. The half guffa, sea reek, and the lingbacker, heatherback, may be found in two pieces of early writing. The Icelandic fantastical tale of Orvar Oder, Arrow Odd, and the Norwegian Konungskogsja, King's Mirror, which is an instructive work for the education of a king's sons. Together, they represent some of the earliest appearances of krakens in literature. Orvar Oder learns from the sea captain Vignir that the half guffa is the largest sea monster in the ocean, capable of swallowing men, ships, whales, and anything else caught in its massive jaws when it retreats into the depths. The Konungskuksha tells us that the half guffa appears more like an island than a fish, perhaps because of its size, but the Lingbacher has the greater reputation for this appearance. When Orvar Oder's men go ashore to find water on a heather-covered island Vignir forbids his own men to visit, they are drowned when the island sinks. Vignir explains that it was no island at all, but a sea monster instead. I wrote Leviathans long before I returned to university for a PhD in folklore. Still, it was easy to imagine that the vast underwater plumes of crude oil spreading like Medusa's locks were part of a newer, more awful sort of sea monster. This episode of the Folklore and Fiction podcast is a preview, and you can listen to the full episode on the Folklore and Fiction website. 
Just click on the dispatch link in the show notes or go to folkloreandfiction.com and sign up for a free account. Thanks very much for your interest. Copyright 2019 to 2023. Kelly S. McCath Morin. All rights reserved unless Creative Commons licensing is specifically applied.